Here, see the diff second approach suggested by the economists in the output method. The second approach is value added approach. This is also known as the value added method. This is the approach suggested by the economists to avoid the double counting. The accurate measurement of national income is very important. So for accurate measurement, we should avoid the double counting and therefore we sh either we should take into account the values of final goods and services or we should take into account the value added at each stage of the production. So see what is meant by value added approach and how the national income according to this method is measured. We can explain it in a proper manner with the help of this example. Before we go to see this example, see what is mean by value added. So value added means what? The difference between the value of final output and inputs at each stage of production that is called value added. Value added means the value of final output and the value of inputs. The difference between the output and input is called as a value added. See in this example final product is the shirt but before going to produce shirt there are three different stages of production are shown in this example in the first column. First a farmer produced cotton and its value is rupees 150. The input value is shown here 0 and therefore the value added is 150 at the first stage of production. When the cotton is converted into yarn, its value becomes 250 and the value added at this second stage of production is rupees 100. How we have obtained value added? See the value added means difference between the value of output and the value of input. The value of input is 150 and the value of output is 250. So 250 minus 150 is equal to 100. This is the value added at second stage of production. When yarn is converted into the cloth, its value becomes rupees 400. At the third stage of production, the value added is rupees 150. How we obtained value added? In the same way, we have deducted the value of input that is 250 and the value of output that is 400. 400 minus 250 is equal to 150. Then the cloth is converted into the shirt, its value becomes rupees 500. In the same way, we have obtained value added. The value added at this last stage of production is rupees 100. So either we should take into account the value of shirt because of the value of shirt means the value of final product that is rupees 500 or we should take into account the value added at each stage of production. The sum of value added at each stage of production that too is rupees 500. So to avoid the double counting in such a way, we can use the value added method for measuring national income.